This is ESPN College Football presented by Polaris as part of tailgate week fired up by Kingston Charcoal. We're in sunny and hot Miami as the Hurricanes take the field looking to go four and one and stay undefeated in ACC play as they entertain the Wolfpack from NC State to receive is one of the most talented freshmen in the nation. Duke Johnson who has three of the five longest kickoff returns in the ACC this year including a 95 yarder in the last home game against Bethune Cookman. Johnson and Dorsett and we are underway here at Sun Life Stadium and no chance for a return and a touchback will come out to the 25 for this Miami not play in the spring after recovering from back surgery so a junior from much senior pace will hand it off on the first play and that's to the 25 yard line goes Duke Johnson as the freshman gets the start today. they want to be an up-tempo offense and they run it on first and second down as Mike James trips his way to the 30 yard line and that'll set up a third and five Game here for the first down first third down attempt so out of the shotgun on third and five and on the ground for Mike James and he has nowhere to go big play up front for the NC State defense for loss on the season Dalton Botts on to punt it away. Richard Smith is set to return. And this will drive Smith back to the 22. Works his way out of one tackle. Makes a move at the 26. Flag on the play, but he makes another move to take it out past the 40. And Tony Creasy is in a tailback for North Carolina State. Little motion here on first down. Mario Carter. And Watson, the tight end, is moving behind the line. And Glennon wants to throw on first down. Over the middle, finds his tight end for an NC State first down. All the way to the 35 and big Mario. And a give to the tailback Creasy this time. He finds a crease in two plays. And it's NC State, which looks like a well-oiled offense on the right side of the formation. Man coverage. They'll keep it on the ground again. And Creasy fights his way through the logo and picks up maybe three and a half, 21 and 31 times. And Mustafa Green, who's not in action today, has carried it 28 times. Lennon pressured, looks for his tight end, incomplete, just off the fingertips. Rally. Temperature started out in the 50s. And they practiced in the morning. That was a concern. Lennon has time, fires a bullet high, incomplete, and a pop on the wide receiver, no flag. Situations almost like the New York Giants do in the NFL and that's a good break on the football I'm not sure so sure Dion Bush needed to make the hit because that could have drawn a flag. Will Bauman to punt it away Miami came after it and a fair catch asked for and taken by Philip Dorsett Green play anywhere on the football field and Ben Jones got the start at right tackle today in front of Eric Flowers after a good game against Georgia Tech Duke Johnson the freshman trying to stretch it and good pursuit by NC State that is then so talented and they have to find a way to get Mike James and Duke Johnson equal carries Johnson leads the ACC in all-purpose yardage Morris trying to find the pocket now has to scramble being chased and he lets it go for a first down on the money on the run to Rashawn field and continue to make big plays Emerson got toasted week one against Tennessee he is looking to bounce back and gain of one up the middle for Duke coming Johnson. into this game that's only four games that leads the nation Will, Willis McGahee, he's UM's leader with over 2,000 yards at 2102. That happened in 2002. Miami's had some pretty good running backs in the day. And Johnson got off to a fantastic debut. That one led the receiver incomplete for Philip Dorsey. The opportunity to coach at St. Thomas Aquinas High School up the road here in Broward County. And he's a tough athlete and he's very productive. One of those playmakers you like on the offensive side. Luke Johnson back in the game again and over the middle incomplete coverage in the secondary by Earl two possessions on fourth and nine Dalton Botts to punt it away state came after that one pretty good Richard Smith fair catch 32 yard line no score first quarter from Sun Life Stadium five minutes into this one Halloween early here in South Bay Drew Wallace out with a foot injury play action Glennon, deep ball, a beauty of a pass, and that's caught for a first down for NC State and Tobias Palmer. What a throw for Tobias Palmer. And now on the ground, Creasy. And Creasy lowers his shoulder. Flag on the play. He takes the sideline. And Creasy will take it inside the 10 to the goal line. And he's down at the 1 with a flag back on the floor. Door inside the 1. 
Creasy straight ahead. Touchdown, NC State as Creasy finds the goal for third time this season. He's able to take a lead. Nick Lucetti on to attempt the extra point. He puts it through. Miami is no got two guys back there in Dorset being able to, to break one in a heartbeat as well as Johnson. So if Miami would like to get the, back in this game, if they can return it, first of all. Second touchback, boom through the end there in Columbus. James and Clements in the game at the same time for Miami. Morris wants to throw. He wants a deep ball. He has a man. Caught! And a Miami first down for Rashawn Scott. That big playability evident right off the bat for Miami. A 52-yard catch and a deep throw for Morris. Morris throws a dime down the field, but credit this offensive line. Steven had all day to find his big play receiver on the outside, Scott, that goes for 52 in Miami right back at it. First and 10 inside the 25. And a little trickery. This is Dorsett trying to find the edge. And he gets forced out of bounds. You have to think that Jed Fish likes to maneuver those playmakers around. And remember against Georgia Tech last week, this is where they like the screen game. So out of the eye, they get NC State to jump. So they can either hit you quick or they can draw it out. James is a tailback. They're looking for that same route into the end zone. And caught. Touchdown, Allen Hearns. Flag on the play. I thought Hearns had stepped out before the ball got to him, but it looked like he got his feet down Offside. when it was there. Defense number 34. That penalty will be defined. Zoko play as a touchdown. If Hearns did indeed go out of bounds, he can't be the first man to touch it when he comes back in. We're going to get another good look at this. Stephen Morris takes advantage of the penalty flag. It looks like that toe may have been on the white before he was able to get one in bounds. Boy, that's close. Another look on the outside. His next step right here looks in bounds, and the official's right there. I think he's in. I think that I think that's going to be a review. Zone. The ruling on the field stands. That's the Tom, I think the reason why both at times six points. And the extra point is good. Miami with the quick strike offense responds with just three plays to cover 75 yards. In the final, a touchdown catch with great footwork from Alan Hearns. Tobias Palmer stands at the one. This is a short kick. Palmer's got to rush all the way up to the 11 to take it. And he gets popped at the 12-yard line. Flag on the play. Nantamba Akil Fretris nearly cut Adam him in half. Simpsonville, South Carolina draws the flag right in the middle of your screen. Big penalty for NC State, but now Miami defensively, Tom, has an opportunity position for their offense. Freshman Shadrach Thornton had a huge game last week. High snap. Glennon's going to take it and take the hit for a safety. He had nowhere to go. Jelani Hamilton found him. So did the same guy who made that big special teams tackle, Natamba Fentress. Fentress was in there as well as the freshman, Jelani Hamilton. High snap to Mike Lennon, and that's exactly what Miami's defense wanted to have happen. He's 6'6", maybe should have caught the football. It looked like his head, he was almost taking it for granted. It goes through high and outside. And Glennon, a helpless feeling for a quarterback, does the smart thing and just takes the safety. And a little miscommunication, and it gets by Duke Johnson. Gets all the way down to the six before he scoops it. Johnson finds room up the middle, and he spins his way to the 26-yard line. It was a long way to go for a six-yard return. Jacob Tart with the special teams tackle. Anytime you have young... That miscommunication may have caught Miami as much as 25 yards of field position. So they try to get it back on the ground, and Duke Johnson, who runs a 4-3-9-40, picks up six yards on first down to throw. Caught. Miami first down and more. Here goes Hearns. Hearns in a foot race and gets taken down inside the 30-yard line. Earl Wolf 
with the tackle after a pickup of 40 for Hearns. Stephen Morris threw Alan Hearns open. Watch him hit him on the proper shoulder. Leads him to the outside where the soft coverage is. And he's able to split the defenders. And Alan Hearns is using his speed for a big play. Here's Mike James with a cutback up the hash. And he gets wrestled down inside the 20 by Earl Wolf. Second straight tackle for Wolf after a big The heat index game. has it into the 90s. And batted away at the line of scrimmage. I, you know, I thought it was kind of to the second half of a football game. But if you get a high tempo offense like Miami's running right now, it's definitely going to wear down a defense. And Wardo Clements in the game for Miami. And deep ball again. Huh. Touchdown, Miami. Philip Dorsett. Hurricanes wasting no time. And the numbers flip again. It's a 15 to 7 lead and a barrage of points put up by Stephen Morris in a hurry. And Morris is on target and on time and on fire in the humidity. A strike to Philip Dorsett coming off of his career highs last week for catches and yards. And along of 65, he goes 24 for the score there. So Stephen Morris. Palmer back to receive. And Tobias Palmer has room this time, but lost his footing at the 10 and gets cut down right there. I believe the answers to that question will be found out around 3.30 today. NC State backed up again. This is their third straight possession that has started inside their own 20. Glennon fires a bullet, complete at the 20-yard line. And still room to run for Underwood, who takes it out to the 30-yard line. And just Try running. It. Glennon. With time, has a man off the fingertips. That was Underwood again. On the NC State side. And now on the ground, Thornton, the freshman, gets tripped up just past the line of scrimmage. Shadrack down for the Canes. Third down, Glennon rolls, trying to elude the pressure, and he backs straight up. And Miami was able to bring that pressure that time. Well, Bauman on to punt it away again. Philip Dorsett back. Beautiful kick will drive Dorsett to the 20. Dorsett finds a sideline. He's got room. Dorsett to midfield in a hurry. He's gonna go! Philip Dorsett takes it the distance. 80-yard return, but a flag back on the 26. yard punt 80 yard return it was still a nice run despite the ball that's where they got him right there at the 30 and then a layout block at midfield it may have been the block of Eduardo Clements the first one that springs Philip Dorsett this is the block right there the block in the back that they're talking about the first one that springs Dorsett now there's another block that comes back here Gabriel Just Terry Terry with a a knockout, a deep leader that springs Dorsett down the sidelines. Terry hit him like an office linebacker. Yeah. Coming back, though, but Dorsett doing a nice job in, in the offensive scheme with that touchdown in the last set of downs and on special teams. Mike James in the game now. Play action to him. NC State brought the pressure and on the rollout complete with the, the football. Yard. They've got Duke Johnson spread out. And this is James who gets the carry from the fullback. Revamped a little bit today to provide him a little bit better protection. Movement up front once again. Free play, deep ball, wide there open. Rashawn Scott's gonna take it. Free play, 60 easy way, and a 76-yard catch and run from Morris to Scott. Tom, you cannot stop playing on defense. When you see the flag or a whistle, you have to keep playing. That's the second time the Miami offense has run a go route. Every time they hear a whistle or a defensive penalty, right there, people in the neutral zone, Miami keeps playing. That's a green light for Stephen Morris to say, hey, we're going over the top. Might be able to get a freebie. The freebie ends up in a big 76-yard touchdown by Scott. 
Second big play for Scott today. He also had a 52-yarder, and the extra point banged through. Miami has scored 23 straight points after trailing on NC State's second possession. It's a third pass of 40 yards or more for Morris today. Stephen Morris is red hot. He's been on target. He's been able to use his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding of what's going on in a penalty. Everybody stops and wearing white jerseys. And it's David Amerson again. You cannot fall asleep. You just got beat the, the series before by Philip Dorsett in the same situation. You can't he come back and times in camp. Didn't learn his lesson until he was embarrassed on national TV on that Friday night against Tennessee. Can Amerson bounce back here today and tighten up his coverage? Here's Tobias Palmer for North Carolina State to the 20. Makes a kicker miss at the 30. Gets to the 40. He's got the sideline and a half step. And A goes down the sideline, but whistled out at the 30. So back-to-back -back big plays in this game. Special teams and offense. And Shadrach Thornton, the freshman, takes the ball. Makes a man miss at the 40. Gets swallowed by orange jerseys at the 38. Right side, room again. Thornton lowers his shoulder and takes it to the 30. A.J. Highsmith with the tackle. He just had a, a career day in his opener last week. They're sticking with Thornton here. He's got room on the left side to get spun down after a gain of nearly two by Eddie Johnson. Thornton, left side, lost the football. Miami scoops it up. And the Hurricanes, A.J. Highsmith, the former quarterback, gets another chance for a kick. Because you can affect the score on this drive if you can stick it in the end zone. That's just a nice tackle at the point of attack by Johnny Paul. He gets that right arm on the football right there. He bangs that right arm and knocks the football loose from Thornton. And then the former quarterback, the former cornerback and safety had great hands to scoop and try to score. A.J. Highsmith. He got tackled by his own man. Anthony Chicolo <laughs> brought him down. Quick pass to the perimeter on first down, and Herb Waters. Red zone, middle of the field. And that's almost like a screen. They're stretching you vertically with the big passes over the last two series. Now they stretch you side down the sideline. Play action. Morris goes over the middle, complete for a first down. And a physical tackle of Philip Dorsett that rips his helmet off. Dorsett will take a seat for one play. As it looked that time, I doubt he was just trying to get him down. So here they go again to the perimeter. And again to Herb Waters. And Rodney Noel with the stop. Tom, you can see what they're trying to do to this defense. They're trying to make him run sideline to sideline. I just think the hand came up from the shoulder pad and actually got to the side the ear for the ear uh, of the helmet. But that could have drawn a penalty very easily. On second down, the freshman Johnson, and he lowers his shoulder, leaps his way inside the 30. It's out of this drive. It might be too much for NC State early in this first quarter. Off the hands of Clive Walton. Jed Fish says we want to be balanced on first and second down so we can throw on third, but Morris is throwing on every down. Yeah, when he's when he has the hot hand, you might as well go to the junior and say, it's your day. We're going to let you throw to your playmakers on the outside. Burns had a big play. Dorsett had a big play. Rashawn Scott goes 76 yards for a touchdown. So you've got your hot quarterback being able to use all of his playmakers. It's just not one guy. It's, it's really a two, three, four guys, plus the running backs in this offense that leads to those numbers. Those are his overall numbers. Vertical routes, 15 yards a plus. He's four for five today. And this is a short route that may turn into a big game for James. To the 20 and a spin move. Lowers his shoulder, stays on his feet. James takes it inside the 10 and all the way to the five. Mike James is special. I mean, yards after first contact, there's five, there's 10. There's 15, there's 20 yards after first contact. Mike James is in the backfield. NC State jumped another free play, and that's incomplete. And another flag on pass interference to college. On first and goal, he'll throw it again. Over the middle, tip, picked. Intercepted by NC State's Sterling Lucas. 
The pack led the nation in interceptions last year in college football. Tom, you asked it on that last P.I. if the ball should have been caught or a catchable ball, and I said, well, maybe. This one needs to be put down in the numbers for Welford to be able to catch the football in tight quarters. When you're throwing the football with a lot of steam on it, you want to be able to locate that football. It's a young Miami defense, and Glennon trying to take advantage with a deep ball, and that will fall at the heels of the defender. Glenn, another deep ball, same direction, caught! NC State with the big play. And this will take it inside the five yard line for Quentin Payton. Flag down, ends the first quarter on a high note from NC State. Attacking plays on back to back in the Wolfpack in business after the first quarter ends. Best for Russell, best for Glennon, best for NC State. And a dump pass to the running back tight end. Wolfpack, Tony Creasy takes it in. Strong there with a three-play drive for a touchdown. Nicholas Sadie boots it through. That touchdown won't go in the first quarter. Juniors or seniors, they've had plenty of time to, to digest the option. Now they have to get rid of it and get ready for today. Another tremendous kick from Sadie. That's his third Precision touchback and accuracy here today. And being able to be out there to lead your team to a lot of points in those five quarters. Duke Johnson is in the backfield. They'll throw on first down, and they swing it out to Dorsett, who's got to check from run plays to pass plays, and he does a good job of taking advantage of that. He really does. He gets in and out of plays that don't look good at the line of scrimmage, and they run to the soft bubble or run to where they can. On third and one, nowhere to go for Mike James. And NC State with the first quarter plus. Tobias Palmer. Fair catch at the 28 at Boston College. So once again, the challenge to open on the road in ACC play. Glennon drilled on first down, loss of football, covered by Miami. Was he down? Green getting the recovery. Johnson at number 44. He's the guy that comes in. That's definitely the ball's out. The ball's moving when Glennon was going down to the ground. Let's see if a knee is down on the ground first. That ball's out. That's a fumble. That's a good play by Eddie Johnson, who's one of those leaders. You mentioned in nine total tackles last year's offense. Second takeaway for the Canes today. And Duke Johnson with the carry. Four games has been incredible. Stephen Morris to throw again to the end zone again, an incomplete. Trying to find Alan Hearns. Covered by Earl Wolf. The game at cornerback for NC State. Back after an NCAA suspension. He's been getting work all week with the starters. And they dump it off to Clements. And he takes it inside the 10. On fourth and two, it's Jake Wyclaw, who's second in the ACC in field goal percentage. 25 yard attempt. And they're going to fake it. They need it two. They get it. Miami first down. Dalton Botts just took off with it. What in the world is going on here today? I thought that was Mike James or Duke Johnson carrying the football. Watch this. He's wrapped up well short of the first down. He breaks the arm tackle of Johnson. That was three yards deep in the, in the backfield. Dalton Bolts might be getting special teams. They might as well keep him out there for the goal line team here. This is a quarterback, and that's his second carry of the season. Maybe Duke Johnson can run like a kicker here. <laughs> and the right side, and the freshman leaps to get to the two. Sterling Hagen's the fullback in front of him. He's Mike James. And he battles his way just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Reception. Now you have man-to-man -man coverage to the short side of the screen. Now we this, got a pole cap going. This could be quarterback run. Morris scrambles, dumps, incomplete. They split out the tackle. He's also a runner. And Whiteclaw on fourth down, bangs it off the upright. And NC State keeps him off the board. Unbelievable stop after the miss from 19 yards. They faked the 25 yarder. They got on the doorstep. But they got a little fancy. Miami can't find points on that possession. 23 14. It's easy to, to go from the two yard line, and they've come up empty on both tracks. Vendarius Whitehead with the carry for NC State. He takes it away with no points in a game where you really could have put it away. 
Again on the ground, and again they turn to Kadarius Whitehead, the freshman from Lithonia, Georgia, who suspended after the UConn game. And pardon me, that was Brandon Barnes at tailback the last couple plays. Second and eight for Mike Glennon. Setting up the screen, he finds Barnes. Barnes has room, and he dances out of bounds. Glennon hands it off to Barnes. Straight ahead, speed, and an NC State first down into Miami territory. Part of tailgate week, fired up by Kings for Charcoal. Barnes gets by a man, and another big play for Barnes as Jimmy Gaines has the tackle. Is this just a with a foot injury? Here's Creasy, cuts it up the middle, drags three defenders with him. And carries it down to the 22 for an NC State first. All five of Barnes carries came on this drive. Creasy again behind those pads and right into the chest of the Miami defenders. Second and three. Straight ahead again, Creasy. And again, able to move it. Another tackle for AJ. They've been running it very effectively in between the tackles. Might be a nice time to tip it and throw it up top to your tight end. Five straight runs. Creasy again with a move behind the line to dive the inside the 10 for UM. This time play action. Glennon over the middle. Caught by Palmer. And Palmer gets a first down. And it's taken away. Miami rips it away. And the Hurricanes have a chance to bring this one back. Brandon McGee finally brought down at the 27-yard line. Flag on the play. Horse collar tackle will tack on a few do more. too much as a running back or a wide receiver trying to make a big play. Tobias Palmer did a good job of catching the football, After but you have to secure recovery. it here and just go to the ground. It's it'd be first and goal inside, but the ball gets exposed by Brandon McGee, and he takes it back. Just a good job of being relentless.